Abraham Lincoln had three secretaries during the Civil War, John G., Nicolay, John Hay, and William O. Stoddard. They were fiercely loyal to Lincoln, whom they affectionately called the Tycoon. Their experiences and observations during this tumultuous period were documented in a series of volumes published by Southern Illinois University Press. John Hay's diary is particularly enlightening and provides valuable insights into various events and personalities during the war. One significant event Hay recorded was a meeting on November 11, 1864, during which Lincoln revealed a document known as the Blind Memorandum. This document expressed Lincoln's concerns about the upcoming presidential election and his duty to cooperate with the president-elect to save the union between the election and the inauguration. Lincoln had pasted the document in a unique manner, making it difficult to open. The text revealed his thoughts on the election and the future of the Union. Hay's diary also reflects Lincoln's feelings after the Battle of Gettysburg. Despite initially being hopeful about General Meade's actions, Lincoln became increasingly despondent as he received cautious and timid dispatches from the general. This culminated in his fear that Meade would not take any decisive action against the enemy, leading to disappointment and concern for the outcome of the war. Nicolay's accounts also provide valuable insights into Lincoln's reactions to various military events, such as George B. McClellan's retreat after the Seven Days Battles. He describes how Lincoln visited the Army of the Potomac and returned in better spirits, while the public exhibited widespread despair and loss of faith in the Union's prospects. Nicolay's observations underscore the challenges the Union faced during this critical period of the war. In August 1864, Nicolay expressed concern about the volatile political situation and the emergence of new candidates to supplant Lincoln. He believed that the nation had reached a turning point in the crisis and lauded Lincoln's patience and resilience. Despite the prevailing darkness and doubt, Nicolay remained hopeful that the Republicans would ultimately prevail and win the fight. William O. Stoddard's recollections of Lincoln have been met with skepticism from historians, particularly regarding his claims about managing the substitution of Andrew Johnson for Hannibal Hamlin as the Republican vice presidential candidate. However, his autobiography contains valuable material, including his first-hand experiences of sorting through the Daily Mail addressed to Lincoln. Stoddard's perspective provides unique insights into the concerns and attitudes of the citizens during the war. One memorable moment captured by Stoddard was the anticipation of public outrage following Joseph Hooker's defeat at Chancellorsville. His recollection, along with those of Nicolay and Hay, helps paint a vivid picture of the despair and anguish that accompanied news of the battle. The White House was engulfed in a sense of doom as the nation braced itself for the aftermath of yet another devastating loss. The accounts of Lincoln's secretaries offer a rare glimpse into the inner workings of the administration during a pivotal moment in history. Their perspectives, coupled with the meticulous efforts of scholarly editors and university presses, serve as a reminder of the invaluable contributions to our understanding of the Civil War.